SEMA Battle of the Builders is awesome. We've, uh, we've been through this through two years now and we don't ever want to miss it again. We managed to take first place trucks and top four overall. Pretty exciting news. So we're really excited this year. We're gonna be competing with another 63 split window in the hot rods and a 57 Volvo in the truck category. The vehicle was initially established by the Swedish military. So not very many of them were produced and none of them were shipped to the United States. So you had to have them imported in if you wanted to work with one. They made 700 of them from 53 to 57 if my numbers are correct. Some of the things that are gonna set us apart, I believe are the uniqueness of the vehicle, but some of the attention to detail that we try to provide when we build our builds and the uniqueness, try to theme everything from the beginning to the end correctly. So this is the 50s Volvo body here. Um, as you can see, we're still in our SEMA crunch. We got a long ways to go, but hopefully in the next few weeks, there'll be some paint on the body here. Um, but the main shape of the body is original to the car. Um, what we have modified is we've built all the firewall from scratch, all the floor pans from scratch. Um, all the gaps have been tightened, panels have been fit a little closer. Um, the body panels never fit like this when the military assembled them. They were off, door panels not fitting. So the attention to detail is there. Some of the things as builders that we're trying to do these days with these builds is starting to work on our gaps. We spend a lot of time uh, trying to make the gaps even, almost the Lexus ball bearing commercial per se. Um, and then we're also making our fit and finish from panel to panel as close as we possibly can. Now this is a very tough thing because when these cars were produced, they weren't produced like this. They weren't produced to have perfect gaps and they weren't produced for the panels to fit. But that's some of the things as a builder we try to focus on. We want to have some creature comforts in it, but we're going to kind of stay minimalistic. It's going to have a stereo system in it from Kicker, and it's going to have air conditioning in it. We did make a custom dash here so that we could have a modern gauge cluster in here and allow the customer to have everything he needs to to make sure that he knows where his engine's at, his fuel's at, and those types of things. One of the exciting parts of this car to me is actually the power plant. So this is Dodge's bulletproof Cummins 6BT uh, diesel. We've actually overhauled the whole engine. Uh, we've done a compound turbo on it. We should be producing between five and 600 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque now. We just like the rear end of the vehicle. We've made it all the Dodge suspension to the front of this vehicle, running the Dana 60 front axle, the front coils, front control arms, everything was made into the fa factory suspension. We wanted to make sure that this is a very user-friendly vehicle for the customer. All right, with the wheels and tires, uh, we wanted to make sure we had the uh, appropriate stance for a good overlanding vehicle. Um, we didn't want to go too big of a tire, but we didn't want to go too small of a tire. Uh, the Volvo's kind of a big truck to begin with, so uh, we're actually running a 37-inch Cooper SST, STT Pro tire on an 18-inch rim, uh, custom painting the rim to match some of the accents for the engine. Should be a pretty, pretty good off-roading handling vehicle. So through the competition of SEMA Battle of the Billers, one of the things that excites me the most is the young guns. I was in these kids' position at one time as a young builder in a shop where no one trusted you. So the SEMA Battle of the Billers is giving these young kids an awesome opportunity to come up, compete with the big boys, learn about it, and also possibly get a chance to get a customer out of the deal.